Hi, my name is Chanel. If you haven't seen me before, hi. Well, today I'm going to be going and getting eyebrow lamination for the first time today. I'm going to be trying that out. I'm going to be trying, yeah, I'm going to be trying that out, getting eyebrow lamination for the first time because I've never gotten eyebrow lamination before. Or once I got eyebrow waxed, my eyebrows waxed out this age, you f them up. But sh uh, hopefully today she doesn't mess them up. But I'm not going to get them waxed or anything or, or threaded or whatever she does. I'm just going to be getting them laminated and tinted. So that's what, and I've seen her Instagram. I found this girl on Instagram. So I'm going to be trying her out. And I have to take the bus there. So yeah, and then I have to walk from the one of the bus stops. I have to walk there to get there. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be trying out this eyebrow lamination hopefully it's good hopefully yeah, yeah it's a success because i've seen her and she well i've seen her instagram and she made it see it look so good so that's what i'm gonna be getting today so yeah i have to leave soon what my eyebrows look like now they look like very like nothing really because i was still them in but this is what they look like now. This is what my eyebrows look like right now. They look kind of funky. I don't know. She took, I feel like she took way too much off the top here. But down below is okay. But at the top, I think she took off way too much. But it's okay because I can fill them in. I'm walking to the store. Oh, you can see my eyebrows because I'm getting some, well, ingredient to make this pasta that I saw because now I'm gluten-free and I'm dairy-free. So this is one you call but the one we, probably thought we had at home got all moldy, but because it's downstairs in the fridge, we usually forget about stuff that's downstairs in the fridge, but I'm going to the store so I can get that so I can make the pasta because I read the reviews and the comments in her video that she made and on her website and they said they all tasted amazing. So hopefully it turns out amazing to make this dish. Now it's just so humid out. It is so humid. It's like excruciating hot out. Everything I have, I have a salad. I have uh, cauliflower and I have this vegan parmesan vegan parmesan cheese i'm back at it in the kitchen okay well you can see my eyebrows like look at them that's what they look like right now the girl who did them she told me to do aftercare on my eyebrows it's been a few hours it's like right now it's 8 36 um aftercare on my eyebrows to do that and like you can't get them wet for the first 24 hours she said but online i heard that you can't get them wet for 24 to 48 hours and they start fading when you shower right now i'm in the kitchen because i'm going to make this pasta dish i saw because uh, right now i'm dairy free and gluten free because i saw a naturopath because i had some digestive issues like going to the toilet multiple times in one day sometimes a like week or whatever but and I'm gluten free and dairy free for six weeks and then I have to see her one month after I started but so we're gonna make this pasta I went to the store to go get some cauliflower I got this vegan parmesan cheese I saw but that was really expensive it was like almost it was like seven dollars and something cents or whatever let me look at the receipt this vegan cheese right here this was um $7.99 wow this cheese right here this one the vibe life I tried the cream cheese in the you know, at superstore the vegan che cream cheese of this one which is I'll show you this one that's the same brand by life the same one as this but at store it was like for something almost five dollars and my mom went to no frills and she saw it there for one dollar so she bought like four of them like what the but we're gonna make this pasta so well i saw a recipe i've never tried this recipe before i've never made it before because it's like my first time like eating pasta since i started last little dish i made was this like 
with the sweet potato noodles, this japchi, this Korean dish I made. But today I'm going to be trying with this pasta because I do have, um, I do have this pasta, this brown rice one, but I kind of want long noodles, so I have this spaghetti that I'm going to use with this Alfredo creamy sauce. So on it, I'm going to be using this spaghetti, which is, this is, um, yellow lentil pasta. It has yellow lentil and brown rice in it. So I'm going to be using that to make the dish with. God, it's so hot. I'm like sweating my faces. It's been so hot these past few days and also it's been smoky because there was on Wednesday there was two fires one on the Vancouver Island and one in the Okanagan there was two fires on the same day one was the one on the island was a gas fire and this one I don't really remember it started at some lake the one in the Okanagan but it's been so hot out recently and we don't even have air conditioning in our house we have to deal with fans but then sometimes fans are really loud when you're trying to watch like YouTube or watch TV. Watch TV in general is like loud, but I have to deal with that, but it's okay. Get through it. I had cashews in the bowl here that I kind of was soaking, even though she said you didn't have, you, she didn't soak hers in her recipe. I just kind of decided to make this dish because I read the reviews that I was just looking at the pasta dish and I found this on YouTube this recipe and I looked at the reviews and everybody said it was really yummy so I'm gonna make it. One thing I really need to invest in getting is a microphone for my camera like a mic and I also need to get another second battery or SD cards and I need to get the tripod if you heard me before I need to get new ones of those so there's a lot of money that I invested but I already spent tons of money today when I was at mall and at the store yeah, so that's what my life is like. Oh, and I have chicken here that I might cook up. This is frozen, so I have to put it in the microwave to defrost it. but the chickens I have the pasta here but the chicken's still in the oven um I can tell that it's not really that good but I might try a different pasta recipe to see if it's like gets nice and creamy because I can't eat dairy although I can see if I could try a different recipe because this one's in cashew and cauliflower I'll try a different recipe because this one's not really that creamy I do know that cream taste 